Hardy. I am an engineer and a baker. I make time to bake. Being a PhD student is a lot of work, but if all you're doing is work, then that's just not good. And like I said, baking is relaxing. So when I need to unwind, I, I bake. So it's something I will make sure I have time to do. Last quarter, I took a thermodynamics and kinetics of condensed phases class. It's a mouthful there. But for, since it's a PhD class, we had to write a term paper. And so in our term paper, all we were told was it had to be about the kinetics of a phase change. We could do anything we wanted. So um, one person in the class talked about sea ice and bromine, because that's what his research is on. And someone else talked about nucleation and growth of kidney stones. And I was thinking, what do I want to talk about? And then I was like, chocolate. That is perfect. Everybody loves chocolate. So I found oh, there's a lot of research out there. Like it's not something that you think about as when you're going about your day, but chocolate is very, very complex. But to get it into the kind that you eat, it takes a lot of work. With you have to temper it correctly, and it's crazy. But so I found lots of papers about that, and so then I wrote my term paper about it, and then we had to give a presentation. So I made fudge because samples especially when they're delicious samples, I figure can't hurt. I am a very literal person. I like to take things step by step and in a very orderly way. And so engineering and math has always appealed to me because that's what you do. And with baking, that's also what it is. I don't do a lot of experimental baking. I find a recipe that looks good and I just follow it to the letter. And people are always asking me what I do in the kitchen and I tell them, but I don't think they believe me. But <laughs> I just... I like having the order there and putting it all together and it's always something I'm you know you always are a little nervous that it's not going to come out right but then when it does it's just really glorious.